Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here with you. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is such a great day to celebrate our friends and families by sharing with them how much we love them. Sometimes we show others we love them by giving them gifts. I know I love to get gifts, but one thing that's really special to me and I enjoy more than presents is spending time with my family, and friends. In today's Bible story, we learn that Jesus loved his friends too, just like he loves you. And he wanted them to spend time listening to him and being with him. I can't wait to learn more. Before we get to our story, let's stand up and sing our new worship song about Jesus and his amazing love. Love will never quit His love will never run away Even when I get upset His love is still forgiving me And it's all because All because His love isn't just a little bit He loves me a whole lot, a lot of together with our emotions. Ready? A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Great job. Now, we have a very special friend to help lead us in our verse. Let's watch. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Bye friends. Thank you. Bye friends. Great job, Lizzie. Bye. Every week when we get together, we remind ourselves that there are two very important things we always want to remember about God's Word. The Bible is true and powerful. Can you say that with me? Ready? The Bible is true and powerful. Great job. When we read our Bible, it's like God is talking to us. Isn't that cool? I think it is. I also think we're ready for our lesson. Are you ready? Let's watch. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at all of these letters I have today. Friends on a trip, birthday cards, 
Oh, and this one is a get well soon card from one sister to another. Oh, that reminds me of today's story. Are you ready for it? Great. I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Okay, so today's true story from the Bible happens at a house like this. Two sisters lived there, Mary and Martha, and they were friends with Jesus. One day, they heard Jesus was coming to visit them at their house. They were so excited, and Martha ran off to get everything ready. Do you like to have friends over at your house? Me too! What do you like to play? Uh, raise your hand if you like to color with your friends. Oh, that's so exciting! Raise your hand if you like to eat snacks with your friends. Mmm, yummy snacks! Raise your hand if you like to play outside with your friends. <laughs> That's so great. It's so good to spend time with friends. As soon as Jesus got to Mary and Martha's house, Mary sat right down at his feet. She wanted to hear everything Jesus had to say. Her friend Jesus was here and she didn't want to miss anything. But Martha, wait, has anyone seen Martha? There she is. Oh, now she's gone. Martha was very busy. She was here. She was there. She was cooking and cleaning. She was trying to make everything perfect because she loved Jesus so much. And finally, she went to Jesus and said, make my sister help me. I'm doing all the work. But Jesus told Martha, that spending time with him is the best thing to do. She didn't need to be worried about the cooking and the cleaning. He just wanted to spend time with her. That's the kind of friend Jesus is. He doesn't need everything to be just right. He loves us no matter what. And he wants to spend time with you, 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 and you. So we should talk to him and dance and sing songs to him and take walks and thank him for all of the things he's made because Jesus loves spending time with us and wants to be our friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. Wow, Jesus loves us so much and he wants to be our friend. In our lesson, Martha spent all of her time working and trying to make everything perfect for Jesus. Meanwhile, Mary spent her time sitting with Jesus, listening to him and learning from him. They both had very different ways of showing Jesus they loved him. But Jesus knew spending time with him was most important. Isn't that great? Remember, Jesus doesn't need everything to be just right for you to spend time and learn from him. You can spend time with Jesus anytime, anywhere. You can spend time with Jesus singing songs, praying and talking to him in the morning, reading Bible stories about him when you're on a picnic, or maybe watching your favorite Bible story show at night with your family. The important thing is to remember to spend time with Jesus. Jesus loves you so much. God made you for his love and wants Jesus to be your friend forever. So if I ask, who loves you? You're going to say, Jesus loves me. Are you ready? Who loves you? Jesus loves me. Absolutely. You all did so great today. It was so much fun being with you. Will you pray with me? Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. God, thank you so much for your incredible, big love for us. Thank you that you hear us when we talk to you. God, thank you that you love us no matter what and want to be our best friend forever. We love you. It's in your name we pray. 
Amen. Thanks again, everyone. Remember, Jesus wants to spend time with you. He loves you, and you are made for his love. See you next time. Bye.